So what is PRP? PRP basically stands for platelet-rich plasma. And obviously the basic components are platelets. Uh, what are platelets? Well, they play an important role, number one, in hemostasis. So I always tell my patients when you cut yourself or break a bone, it's your platelets that arrive to the site and initiate um, the healing. So initially they um, clot and stop the bleeding and then they begin uh, repair or what's called a regenerative process. So they initiate healing in our own bodies. So we're in essence using our own body cells to help promote healing by placing them in places where there's an injury or degeneration. Uh, so um, we have plenty of platelets. We know that each human adult has at least a trillion platelets in their body and we actually produce a hundred billion platelets a day. So we take the patient's blood, centrifuge it, and then concentrate the platelets, which is usually about two or three times higher than the concentration of normal blood. But we also get rid of the red blood cells and white cells because those are actually harmful to the repair process. One of the key factors in platelets is that they um, cause regeneration of tissues. They actually uh, have growth factors and when they go to the site and they're triggered, they release these growth factors. Uh, these growth factors have fancy names, but they include, uh, for example, insulin-like um, growth factor, transforming growth factor, platelet-derived growth factor, epidermal growth factor, vascular endothelial growth factors. And these growth factors play an important role for healing and regeneration. So the platelets actually induce a regenerative process and they also recruit and stimulate stem cells. What are stem cells? Stem cells are cells that help regenerate tissue. They can adapt to the site and form new cells and produce healing of the cells. So for example, we know that platelets will induce collagen formation. Why is that important? Well, collagen is the element in all our tendons. So when you have tendon damage, such as you have a rotator cuff, or let's say a patellar tendon injury, or your Achilles tendon, uh, by directly injecting platelets uh, in those areas, uh, which we do, uh, we will induce um, healing and regeneration of the tendon. Um, so uh, we also know that platelets play an important role in reducing inflammation. So it actually has an anti-inflammatory factor, much like uh, cortisone injections do. It helps reduce inflammation. So think of uh, your platelets as firemen. When you have a fire, um, the firemen arrive to the site to put out the fire. Platelets do the same thing. When there's a trauma or inflammation in your body, the platelets arrive there and they behave like firemen. They put out the fire and then they start the repair process. Well, that's not done by your firemen, but it's like your firemen then calling in um, the people that will fix or repair your house after the fire damage. So that's what platelets do. They will signal and call appropriate cells to the site to begin the reparative process, period. One other important factor is that platelets also have an anti-infection or antimicrobial factor. That's very important in injections because there's a very low incidence of developing infections when we do these injections. Infection is always a concern with a patient having um, an injection, but platelets actually have an antimicrobial factor. They block the effect of infection. At the same time, they're initiating the body's regenerative tissues. So when we're injecting the platelets, as you'll see directly into the patient's tendon, we're inducing healing and regeneration, we're reducing inflammation, and we're kick-starting the repair process. What about in the knee joint? You'll see us performing uh, PRP in a knee joint. So studies have shown uh, PRP actually uh, produces or increases hyaluronic acid. Well, hyaluronic acid you may be familiar with, that's the material used in Synvisc which is a very popular form of treating arthritis, but platelets actually have that element of increasing uh, hyaluronic acid. But they also reduce inflammation and then um, initiate a reparative process. We used to use cortisone frequently, 
but we know that cortisone does not cause regeneration, there's now evidence that it actually may damage the joint cartilage. And repeat cortisone injections may not only cause uh, effect on the bone in softening it, but may also damage your tissue cartilage. Platelet injections or PRP injections have a reverse role. They actually promote healing. <laughs>